Good morning. My name is Julie M. Lalonde. Um, I am wanting to start a fundraiser. Um, this fundraiser is, is pretty much like a charity. Um, but this is going to change the world. Um, one, one step at a time. I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of praying. And um, this is going to be called Brain Lake Back. Um, this is also going to uncover uh, the corrupt court, the cancer that we all know about. We don't, we're not always aware of it um, unless we are thrown inside of it. And some of us cannot get through the process in a positive way. It, it tears families apart. It... Uh, it brings drugs into the equation and uh, a lot of women and men that do lose their children to custody uh, issues that are arranged by these judges and commissioners because they disobeyed a court order by protecting their children are thrown into the chaos and they can't rise above it. I am talking from experience, but I am a little bit different. I don't take no for an answer, and those that know me know exactly what I'm talking about. I have a voice, and I choose to use it, not always in a good way, but I am going to change that. Uh, this is the first recording, and uh, there's going to be a following I, I want to share this with with you the world I want you to see what I'm talking about um, it's heartbreaking but I know it's going to be rewarding um, and uh, this is impact basically from bad experience um, that uh, is going to turn me into an advocate which is going to be from good experience um, the impact is caused on my behalf anyway from the risky behavior that I I tend to to do and um, this is something that has put my children in the middle of and uh, I have 48 hours to actually um, come up with $16,000 to continue on this journey um, I've exhausted the $10,000 that I did put down in September of 2014. Um, today is now March 12th, 2015. It is about 6 o'clock in the morning, and I have my first visitation with my son, who's four. I haven't seen him since before Thanksgiving, so this is going to be uh, pretty emotional. Um, I've been praying about it. I can't sleep, and I'm excited. I have games packed and I have ideas so I can kind of take away from the fact that he hasn't seen his mom, I haven't seen my son, and uh, that I'm comfortable, you know, um, wondering what's going on without being able to actually explain to him because of the fact that I'm going to be watched and uh, supervised and there's so many rules and regulations. Um, I, uh, I'm excited. And um, it's only going to be an hour. Again, I haven't seen him since before Thanksgiving. And I was arrested August 14th, 2014, where they took him from me. And I have lost temporary custody because of the fact that I disobeyed two court orders. And the commissioner that I disobeyed is the worst one that you want to piss off. And take it from me. If uh, there's any possible way that uh, the situation can get crazy and it goes in chaos, that would be me and uh, my luck. But this is something that I want to share with you. This is something that I don't want to have continue. Um, I know I can't change all of it, but I at least can start uh, and, and from my voice and reaching out. And sharing my story, I'm going to be able to touch other people's hearts and make a difference.
before they do the things that I did um, and they get to the point of no return. Uh, I look forward to um, sharing this with you and I'm very, very excited uh, for the next six months. Uh, hopefully it won't take that long. Um, it's already been six months and my heart has just been completely broken to a million pieces and uh, it's, it's been, it's been a lot, uh, but uh, it, it's going to get better. And uh, I'm just so excited to, um, to, to begin this and uh, to see my little boy this morning. So uh, I will be back to share how it went. And uh, thank you.